Hello everyone and welcome back to the 20 years of Call of Duty. As you can see, this is Call of Duty Vanguard and all that high optimism I had from playing Black Ops Cold War is completely gone. We had to get here eventually. I'm depressed that we've actually got here because I've made no secret I don't enjoy this one. And we'll just wait for this to connect to the online services. We'll sort out all our uh, settings for sound and volume. This is quite loud. This banging track. Let's go in the background. Let's get onto the campaign. That's what we're here for. Let's get on our settings. Get into audio. Let's get this down. We'll get this down to 65. Music down. Uh, dialogue will keep keep high. Sound effects down to 65. I've generally found that it's okay. Yeah, that seems about right. Uh, anything with the interface, we've got credits on, that's absolutely fine, uh, not credits on, we have subtitles on. Everything seems as it should. Yep, I think we're good. Uh, safe area, absolutely fine. Camera movement, motion blur off, absolutely. Yeah, so... They do say, if you've not got anything nice to say, don't say anything. But, unfortunately, this is a commentary. I do commentary on my videos, so I'm going to have to be bloody negative. I really don't like this one, guys. I think this game is just abhorrent. I think it's just, like, a cardinal sin on the series. It's, I don't know if it's the worst one, because there's ones on, like, them, you know, for including spin-offs, Call of Duty, World at War, Final Fronts, or something like that on the PS2, and Call of Duty Finest Hour mechanically wasn't anywhere near as good as this, but I would much rather put that on than this. Like... Call of Duty 3 plays way worse than this game, but I'd much rather play Call of Duty 3 from beginning to end. But anyway, we'll start with Operation Tonga. I haven't really decided the four levels I'm going to do, to be honest. Uh, but without further ado, we'll get into it. I've got plenty to talk about, about this game. I've only played through it once, and I complained about Black Ops Cold War's length. This game, I had a look, only took me three hours. And that was on Veteran. Not enjoying myself and getting frustrated and playing pretty bad at some points, because I remember this one being vaguely difficult. But, yeah, three hours, so... But some of these loves are quite long off memory, but there aren't many of them. But we're going on veteran, as always. No change. We're in D-Day. If you're meant to lead, you have to learn what it's like to lose men. To have them die trusting you. And there's only one way to learn that lesson. First time I did, was on D-Day. So the Battle of Merville was a very famous battle with the British paratroopers. I'll give this game some credit for having the Brits in, in D-Day for once, rather than the Yanks. And it seems like the crowds already know we're coming. But this game does a lot of things wrong. But we'll get into all that after this. Cutscene. Now I trade you all for this. Let's not let the Navy show us up. So take the case, mates. Blast the artillery. And fire your flares to let the Navy know the job's done. This is it. You know the drill. Stand up! Stand up. Hook in! Stand by! See you on the ground! I'll start with a customer comment and a nice comment. This game looks absolutely stunning. Um, especially the cutscenes. Come a long way from Call of Duty Ghosts, haven't we? This is a nonsense, by the way. We didn't send this many. But yeah, you'll notice with this game, it has to up the ante on absolutely everything. Like, yeah. I mean, they made it clear when the game came out that they wanted to make World War II a bit different. But in my opinion, just don't do World War II. They should have done what a majority of the game is, which is in 1945 at the end of the war. And they should have done something cool with that. Is that our Leanne field gone? I say this is the Call of Duty I'm the least familiar with. But here we are, we're D-Day. Operation Tonga. The Battle of Merville. 
Which, as I say, was a real battle. Our character, Arthur Kinsley, is based on a real British paratrooper who was who was black. However, that person did fight in this battle. Now, we can get into all our problems with that in a moment. Uh, so just check that audio, because it is pretty loud. I'll just turn it down a touch to 60. This game tries to build some atmosphere. But I've got bigger problems with the game other than it's deciding to change all its historical aspects. I think the problem, when this game was announced, I, I, I couldn't remember speaking to anybody that thought, oh yes, I'm on board with this, you know. As we see our man killed. But... Interesting thing to talk about. You'll notice that this German ear is this crowd is wearing a big winter overcoat. This is June. Just, just bear that in mind. But yeah, this this game done. Everything about this game is going to be to the eleven. But it just can't help but feel so tired. And I know I'm already being very negative two minutes in, but we've just blown a guy miles with a car ninety eight. I mean, it all looks very pretty, but. As I say, when this game was announced, I can't remember anybody I spoke to being at all, like, hyped and excited for it. I think a lot of people had the same reaction of myself of, like, World War II again, really? And they were like, it's going to be a different take on World War II, and I'm, I'm, to which my immediate response is always, well, there isn't really a take with World War II. It happened, and we've got it recorded how it happened. You can't really have your own take and want to throw agendas in. Now, there's a lot of that in this game, and I'm not going to get too bogged into that because it's all well documented. I mean, you had the de This is the game where the devs were saying things like, Call of Duty has no iconic characters and we wanted to create our own. Nobody is referencing the characters in this game to this day. And we already talked about the iconic Call of Duty characters. I, you know, we've got plenty in this series. Oh. What is the crack here? Do I just have to sneak? Let's have some ammo. Not a right lot, is there? That it, five measly bullets in this thing. I mean, I thought maybe this was trying to be a bit of a throwback to the very first actual mission on Call of Duty 1 because you do have something quite similar where you drop in on D-Day. Obviously, there's the Yanks in that one. And you have to sneak about for a few first couple of minutes. I don't really want to fight because, yeah, Car 98's not going to do me a right lot of good here. Yeah, just sneak. Let's get forward. But yeah, this game's got all kinds of ridiculous... You know, it makes it clear we don't want to do historical accuracy. But for me, I just think, well, why do World War II in the first place? You know, you have a World War II-esque setting. But as I say, do 1945 after the war with this fourth Reich and this crazy supernatural stuff. Go a bit Wolfenstein if that's what you want to do. I don't, I'm not saying I want to particularly play that, but at least this game would be a little different. Is somebody... Re somebody's... They're shooting Inglorious Bastards up there. The opening scene. <laughs> Shooting through the floorboards. We have the mounting mechanic from the last game here. What is with this car 98? It is a bloody Barrett 50 cal. Right. I, I, as I say, I've only played this game the once, so... I have very little like memory or knowledge of how it really works or how well, not how it works and how Call of Duty works but how things happen where well, it take Black Ops Cold War I kind of knew everything that was going to happen before it did and particularly COD Ghosts I'm very slow I can't move at a normal speed is that meant to be a thing we've got the MP40 here but yeah they made it very clear and this that they wanted to do tell their own World War 2 story but it just, I mean, nobody, I don't, I have not spoken to anybody that's ever lied to this game. Well, I've, I've very, spoken to very few people that have even played this game. Not anybody that's played the multiplayer, zombies, or anything about it. In complete truth. Why can't I move at a normal speed? This is really, I hate when, whoa, is that taking his head off? That was impressive. I, t I t take it all back. 10 out of 10. Oh, those Germans. I should probably get out of the open, yeah. 
It, it does look mighty impressive. That that does actually take me by surprise. I'd, I'd forgotten that it looked as good as it did. I don't remember taking on the entire German army by myself two minutes in, however. Although this isn't the first mission. They've actually set up a lot more plot if you play this properly. But as I say, the fact that they've changed the character to, to put them in this battle when this, the actual real-life person wasn't here is hardly the worst thing this game's going to do. We'll get onto that with Stalingrad. And that's where we'll get particularly angry. Because the, the main reason will... Oh, wow. Yeah, they've really got rid of that dog mechanic, haven't they, from World War II? And if, you, if you're wondering, guys, it is Sledgehammer. They did that game as well as this one, so... It's their game again. Oh. Oh. Strange checkpoint, that one. There was some ammo that I missed. I'm going to... I'll get back. Yeah, this game was like a searching mechanic, which is a bit odd. If I get further back, I'll be able to see the dogs in time. But yeah, it's just from the absolute high that was Black Ops Cold War, this is going to bring us right, right down to earth. All right, we'll take that. One thing I do like is the takedowns that Black Ops... Whoa, 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 whoa. Black Ops Cold War introduced. I hate the going to black screen that Modern Warfare introduced. When I'm damaged, the last thing I need is to be able to see less. I don't know who fought that up. Uh, is that an MP40 there? The music, I don't know if the music will come through because I know that the, the PS5 and the PS4 like to mute a lot of audio with music when I record it internally like I do. So the music might not be coming through. If it's not, I do apologize because the music is actually very good. So that's an interesting tone. It's certainly better than World War II's. Which is just generic World War II stuff. But yeah, I was hoping when I started this series with Black Ops Cold War, uh, not Black Ops Cold War, but Cod Ghosts, Clockwork, back on Christmas Eve almost a month ago now, I was really hoping that nobody would care too much. You know, this was an idea I had to just, just to put these videos up, videos up for a few friends to have a laugh and look back at some Call of Duty levels from the last 10 years. That was honestly just the plan. And I kind of thought we wouldn't get to Vanguard in truth. I thought I'll get to Black Ops Cold War because I enjoy that one and call it there. Because, you know, there won't be any interest. But lo and behold, this series has been successful. And I've, I've gained a bunch of subscribers and a bit of a following. This series definitely has a has got a, a following. And I'm, I'm really appreciative of that. But it does... Double-edged sword does mean I have to play this game now because people expect it. Let's kill this dog at least. He's going to... I hate that you can't melee him like they used to be able to. Because I had that time to perfection in the COD 4 onwards. That's another one, isn't there? I've opened that door now. Close that with my Jedi powers somehow. Should I consider moving forward? I honestly can't remember this level at all. But yeah, I mean, do you guys remember the Vanguard characters if you played this game? Because... I can remember. I, I can. I'm very good with names and memories. My memories, so I can. I can remember, but I don't think I've speak to a lot of people. They would. I've made a bit of a mistake coming out here. But yeah, I think it's fair to say with Call of Duty's last two attempts that their return to World War Two has not been as successful as I think they thought it would be. I think they really thought when they did that in 2017 with World War Two, they probably thought, "Oh, this, we're, we're back. We're back now." Back to being absolutely... I mean, it's still a mega franchise, but I think they thought they'd be back to getting critical acclaim and all that. And that hasn't really happened for them. And I think, I'd say, a lot of thunder was taken away by Battlefield 1's trailer. But Battlefield itself, I mean, they, they were on the right foot with Battlefield 1, and then they went and did Battlefield 5. So they themselves also kind of had a bit of a cock-up. Oh, that guy's still alive. But thankfully this won't be the end of the series. We've got one more game after this. And that, of course, will be a full playthrough. The poll will have concluded by the time I've put this video out. And unless a major swing's about to happen, it looks like we will be playing Modern Warfare 2 full playthrough, which is absolutely fine with me. I've never played that one before, so it will feel quite fresh. Yeah, you're going to see some absolute nonsense with the weapons in this game, and attachments, you're going to see red dot sights and stuff like that, and STG-44s in 1942. They had no regard for 
like historical accuracy, and that's fine to a degree. And they did try and emphasize that point, but don't, as I say, just don't say it in World War II. Right. Oh, don't remember that. Now, what is what I, what is interesting to say about this game is I did actually play this game at the time. I was uh, I was at my I was at my parents for a, a little space in time, and I was playing this game a lot of it in front of my dad. And my dad's the one who got me into video games and played loved Medal of Honor and the early Call of Duty. Is an is a big World War Two fanatic, like just knows absolutely everything about it to a T, pretty much. And <laughs> I could. Just, I think my, a lot of my disdain comes from this game was seeing the absolute pain of him watching me and just its lack of care for historical accuracy. You know, like obviously you can take the, you know, these video games are never that accurate. Call of Duty 2 is not particularly accurate as a game. You know, the whole idea that you are going through and taking out all the enemy on your own is ridiculous. But there was at least a commitment to honouring the sacrifices that were made in World War 2 and trying to tell what actually happened. Thunder! Thunder, but this I'll game shoot. just offended the shit out of him. He hated it. <laughs> we picked you as a crowd. Lucky we didn't Richard Webb is based on a real character who actually led this battle, by the way. Oh, we've got to press a button. Sorry. Nice to see the cutscenes don't just happen. Where do we stand? The captain didn't make it, so we're on our own now. I say we dig in and wait for the rest of the sick they born to assemble. Henry said we had till dawn to destroy the artillery. If we don't, the invasion fails. So you fancy yourself the captain now? Sunup's an hour away at best. There's no time for a sit-down. Yeah, there's also no muscle and no cavalry coming to save the bloody day. The only thing we can do here is to die or try not hey, to. you two scrapping over who's got the bigger bollocks ain't gonna solve nothing. Those German casemates aren't that far away. I think we can get to them in time. So I say we take them out. The company's scattered. We're pissing in the wind at this point. You know what's at stake. You all do. This is madness. Hey, we're beyond madness. Look, I'm with Arthur. We finished the mission. All right, Kingsley. Looks like you're in charge now. Casemates and Valhalla are that way. So much like World War II, we're doing this fake... Well, not fake, but this, like... Over dramatic bollocks, you know, of, Let's get of making up conflict between officers. It's just not interesting. They really haven't got it down, have they, Sledgehammer? Just generally how to do a decent campaign. I, I don't think they've done one decent one. You know, Advanced Warfare, we, I got like a few people in those comments as we found out. I've got a little soft spot for that one. This, that game does some stuff right. And I think the fact that they at least had a different setting helped. But their World War II. Games have just been, have been crap. I, I really don't care too much for what they bring out in 2025. The whole operation was a mess to bring up. I just hope that for, you know they don't do World War Two again. Or if they do, at least do like alternate history, or like set it in 1947 or something. What a great game could do is pretend that the nuclear bomb never went off and they never made it, and we had the invasion of Japan. Because that was obviously all planned, and the war would have lasted another two years. They'd do that. Because that would have been an absolute bloodbath. I mean, you can read all the projections that the military made. They predicted to lose a million allies' deaths in the invasion of Japan. That You could make the most out-there video game ever. Do that. I'd support that in 2025. There you go. Have that idea for free. Well, not free. I'll send you a bill, but it won't be that much. I promise that's a vision. So we've got some squad commands here, but I don't particularly remember that having much impact to anything. Yeah, that seems stupid. I can't really remember it having much impact, this. But... I'm just trying to think, is this, this isn't the first time we've played as British, is it? And they... Uh... In these 10 games we've done. I'm just racking my brains now very quickly. It is, isn't it, actually? Yeah, is this, the, this will be the first time we've played as British soldiers at all. Oh, grenade, grenade. Split up! Find another way around! But yeah, you've got, I uh, say, these squad commands that I don't particularly remember them having anything. But they're here. 
And grenade throwing's alright in this game, to a degree. Oh, man. World at War, this is not. I can't believe I survived that. I, I also keep reading Richard Webber's Robert Webb. <laughs> Which is particularly amusing. I never died near a fair bit when I first played it, so I'll try and be better. A rare use of the Sten gun here. I suppose this game addressed one of my criticisms from Call of Duty World War II, and we actually we had lots of different fronts in this game. We got this, you know, British already. We'll play as Australian, or is it New Zealand? I can't remember when we get there, but... You know, there's a lot more going on here. Ah, this thing. This Wolfenstein-looking shotgun, where I think there was only 100 of them in World War II. But yeah, talk about Wolfenstein. In fact, this game is very Wolfenstein at times. I won't show one of the Stalingrad levels, but that in particular with the music and everything is like literally trying to be Wolfenstein. Which is interesting, because at this point, Wolfenstein wasn't wasn't what it was at this point. Wolfenstein 2 had come out, and I think New Blood had come out, and both of those had not done particularly well. So interesting that they were chasing that crowd, so to speak. Hit the hard track. I think off memory, you want to keep the half-track pinned down, for obvious reasons. Suppress the half -track, MG. Yeah. If I suppress it, I think I can move on. I think that's how it works. Uh, that is basic military combat, isn't it? Uh, why'd you have to... Can't they just do it their own volition? I've got to tell them to move that truck. Right. Let's try not to die doing this. Can I do it from here? A, a good leader can shout, you know. Well, you weren't going to shoot him. Don't tell me to watch my fire. Right. I'm going to have to follow him now. I've committed to this move. I didn't want to. But apparently my guy can't shout. Yeah, help me out, guys, please. <laughs> I don't think they're going to. This is some bizarre cover that we're using. This reminds me a bit of uh, Black Ops 1. Take out the reinforcements. Yeah, please do. I am on my Todd. <laughs> oh, nice one. So the whole point of this game is to show you like these special forces and the birth of them. But I don't ever remember feeling like I was part of a team. I do in this mission, to be fair, ordering my team around. So they definitely should have done more like this. Got him. Alright. It's going relatively well. Yeah, I'm hoping that music comes through because the use of guitars, I mean, if you can hear that now, that is so Wolfenstein. I really hope it is coming through. But if not, have a look, uh, just have a look at the soundtrack. But why isn't this game as good as you're wondering? Because you're probably thinking, well, it looks all right. It's always called Dewey in it. But look at the past game we played where I always had these a million ways of doing a mission. We are very much back to being tunnel vision with this game, which is a big disappointment. But they just, they really nailed it with Black Ops Cold War. Daniel's had his head blown off. I didn't show that for everyone, sorry. I know people want the goriness, don't they? But... There we go. There ain't much to this other than just press the up button on it and then move. You're right next to me, you donut. Wow, well, I kind of just threw that in a general direction. I'll take that. Nice one. All right. I'm not absolutely wanting to shoot myself after playing this level. So that's a good thing. Love those uniforms, by the way. Well, that was a fucking kerfuffle. Hey, Sarge got it done. 
still here, aren't we? I suppose. Eight men standing against the Nazi gun fort. Richard said I'd gone mad. Sometimes, a little madness is called for. I think deep down he understood that. And realized, we were cut from the same cloth. Oh yeah, if you wanted the biggest collection of cliche phrases from a military film, game, book or anything, this is it. This has got them all. <laughs> I'm just gonna turn it down a touch because I do feel like it is loud. I should do it. I do love our uniforms. Call of Duty 3, I remember when you had the British in as well. They all had similar looking uniforms like this. Look at those defenses. Bloody hell. They're waiting at the table up here. So let's get some ammunition and get straight into this. As I say, this is all a real battle that happened with the uh, parachuters. And I will give credit to the fact that at least they are showing the British at D-Day. We can only get there through a horde of Germans armed to the teeth. Think you can handle taking out the lower gun? Don't fancy my chances. That bunker's our way in, but it's packed with MGs. It'll be a hard push. First job's getting across that minefield. But that anti-tank ditch could be useful. I've got an idea. I'm all ears. We can punch a hole through the mines with those blitzers there. And the bunker will make mince meat out of us as soon as they hear the engines coming. We're going quiet then. No engines. Bail at the last second, let gravity do the work. That should get us to the ditch at least. Well? I love it, but I think you should go first. <laughs> All right, then. As soon as you hit the ditch, get the men ready. Tommy, you with me? Oh, yeah. Drive through the minefield, take the bunker, strap some thermite to some highly explosive weapons. Piece of piss, Sarge. And you, get a second sun burning in the sky. If our ships don't see that flare, if they don't know we've won, they'll fire on the guns and risk taking us with them. I don't know about you, but I think I'll take very little consolation in knowing that the fire that killed me was friendly. Don't worry, girl. I won't forget to aim up. So this bit with the trucks is actually true. This is what they did to get across the minefield. So again, there's stuff they get right, which is probably more right than Call of Duty 1 and 2 3. But the whole like agenda they try and push... Some of this stuff's right, but when we get to Russia is when it, it all goes wrong. Godspeed, Kingsley. But here we go. Let's take it for a little spin. <laughs> Can I drive off course? No, let's not. I don't want to make this any longer than I have to. So here we are, big push. Not quite into Berlin yet. So we have this double tactical sprint where you can't shoot but you're meant to run faster. Or some nonsense like that. Here we are. So we're going to help these people get off their, get past their PTSD by simply telling them to get their shit done. Rally the men. We're ready for orders, Kingsley. On my command, we charge. Do I not have any smoke grenades? Just hang on, hang on, hang on a minute, everyone. Just, just, just give it two minutes. <laughs> have I got any? I swear you have smoke grenades here, because I remember getting a trophy. It was a really rare one. Maybe that's on the next bit. Oh well, who needs smoke grenades, right? We'll just charge into open fire. We were very good at it in 1916. There we go. 
One of the rare times in veteran you can do this and survive, by the way. Yeah, the AI aren't particularly smart in this one, but they've not been smart in any of them. Have I got my shotgun? I don't have my Wolfenstein shotgun. Oh, they whacked him. Give him a good sock. Uh, I would like a different gun. The game lets me have two. I might as well have two, right? Yeah, this tactical sprint's quite useful. We'll have to take that. It's good to have a rifle as well. We've not used a single British weapon here, have we? Oh, we've used a Sten. We've used a Sten. Ah, G a G43? Yeah, no, that would be around. That would be around. That would be about right. I am a big fan of this weapon in certain Call of Duties. There, smoke grenade. That's more like it. Refill my ammo. Well, give me a minute. You said I'm in charge. I saw another gun there. What the hell is that stormtrooper looking thing? What is this? I'm having it. Modern what? Oh god, trench mag. Oh god, this is when they brought all these weird attachments. Well, to be honest with you, I want that. I'm taking my gov. Yeah, I'm taking my gov. Uh, I remember this. I hope you're not attached to Tommy, guys. Welsh cunt. <laughs> he probably supported Wrexham. <laughs> Sod him. <laughs> oh, heck. I didn't know there were Germans here. Germans in France, who knew? Right, I am right in the open here. I'm back to moving really slow. What is this? He looks like a bloody, like, Wolfenstein trooper, him. God. I know there's, I know we all liked Wolfenstein, but these guys... Loved them. Keep the left half track down. Ah. It's all about taking out the half tracks. It always is in these games. Any World War II game, take out the half track. Left half track gunner is down. Watch the half track. Move, move. I do like this Gavir 43 though in this game. Very formidable, even at close range. You can fire it very quickly. STG 44? Yes, please. That is the gun we all love. It's a little bit early to be at D Day, but whatever. At least it's not going to appear in the Pacific Theatre, right? Oh, I didn't mean to go that. Right, so let's get up here. That was a northern character for once. Right, have I got to do a charge here again? I think I do. Do I have to tell everyone to advance? I can't remember now. Whoa! Oh, please go away. Why have I thrown... I've done it again. I've thrown a smoke grenade. I've done my old strategy. I've thrown a smoke grenade to cover the German advance. I'm intelligent, they are. Stay behind the half track. Don't give those MGs a target. All right. Okay, I will do that then. Move this thing now. Stick on it, lads. Stay covered. Almost there. Oh, at this point, the four mission format, three missions I like, and one mission I dislike being in play is all but gone. I don't actually mind this level, but the rest of this game I do mind. Jesus, there are a lot of Nazis. Tell you what, for a Call of Duty protagonist, I don't have to keep talking. 
Oh, shoot for shit. That was dreadful. Ignore you saw that. There we go. How's he alive? Right, my aiming is not on point. Have that. Kind of fucked him away here. Oh. Get some more grenades used. Well, yeah, if the rest of the game had been as fun as this, would have been all right. Whoa, I don't remember this. I was going to say brutality, but it's not World at War, is it? The same thing still applies as I said to World War 2 video guys, just get World at War and you'll enjoy that a lot, lot more. Yeah, just buy yourself World at War cheap. <laughs> That's a British response, isn't it? Bloody hell. I imagine Philip Evans had his... Philip Evans, what a name as well. I'm sure he had his cup of tea while he said that. And his biscuit. Nice digestive. Uh, there's no surprise Germans, is there? One down, one to go. That's the last of the thermite. Sarge, I could use your help here. <laughs> is it going to be my head getting blown off this time? <clears throat> No, it's not. I see a thing in here. Take it slow. No, I'm going to get him now. Is that? Is that? Why are we playing Dead Space? Oh, I'm dead. Oh, stabbed in the heart. <laughs> Jump scare. I said we were playing Dead Space. See a thing in here. Can we get a World War II Dead Space? Now, now we're cooking. Is that? Is that? Imagine that. You're in some Nazi bunker and the necromorphs come out. I mean, the way these guys are fighting me, running out with a bayonet, is very, like, suicidal, isn't it? Close, you weren't even front and centre. Game, you can throw this Volkskum and weird gun in my face, I ain't using it. 60 round drum magazine? Yes, please. Oh, no, look at the state of it, no way. MP40. MP40 for life. Yeah, I've decided I want Dead Space World War Two theme. Imagine this. Look, like this setting, and the Necromorphs come out. <laughs> Not just guys with bayonets. It could be Isaac Clarke's great, 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 great grandson. I wasn't even paying attention, mate. I was thinking about my Dead Space idea. I'm quite lucky actually, because I was really not paying attention. I assume it I assume it can die. Who was that? That was very rude. Where is it? There's a little shit. He did well to shut that door. These look like a right effort. He, he has taken cover. Smoke up, go. Whoa. Have we committed any war crimes yet? I don't think we have. What is a G? Action speak loud and words. I just got a trophy there. What's that about? Protect Evans with... Ah! So last time I played this, I'd let Evans die. So I just got a trophy then. You would have seen that for keeping Evans alive. So, shows how much attention I paid last time. Look at that, though. There you go. Red dot sight. For, well, it's not. It's a green dot sight, isn't it? But what the hell is that on my gun? I know it's all like, oh, we wanted to do World War II a bit different, but can't you just keep a gun and not have dot sights on it? I'm still going to use it. <laughs> Get 
Oh, but look at that skyline. It's beautiful. Oh, another objective failed. We've had a few in this series, haven't we? Where's Webb? There, lower case, mate. Incoming! Get down! I'm going for Webb's flare! Get everyone to cover! We need to run for it! Time for some tactical sprinting. Are they German? Oh, they are. Just take cover for a second. I took a bad shot then. We'll throw a smoke grenade. Give ourselves every chance. I appreciate that smoke grenades kind of go instantly in this one. Oh. Ah. I wish your health uh, regenerated when you did take it down. It's probably a good thing that it doesn't because otherwise you could really... Oh, shit. Sorry, mate. Corporal Norman. I'll uh, send an apology in the post for that. Well, it, has, it is accurate, this green dot. <laughs> I'll smoke, throw a smoke grenade in there. Oh, they've all blown up this time. I just need to hold my nerve then. See ya. I'm off. I think I've confused the game here. <laughs> throw a smoke grenade. Let me move. There we go. What? to take a kip i was just waiting for some mad bastard to come and save the day well let's you and i signal our boy shall we nope cut scene went there we'd lost our captain but we'd won the day and we'd honored the memory of all those we lost the only way we could by completing the mission you look at the soldiers under your command and hope that they can do the difficult thing, the impossible thing. That flare told me I'd been right. This is what it means to be a leader. From all the flags waving on the streets, we'd never have known the Nazis were about to lose the war. So yeah, that was the Operation Tonga, guys. This cutscene is part of the next bit. Oh, I can pause them. What a neat addition. We'll skip this. I'm not here for story. Basically, you've all seen Inglorious Bastards, right? That's basically what all these characters are. Uh, oh, I do appreciate this being able to skip everything. Yeah, I'm going to. We're not doing the Stalingrad Grab mission. But yeah, that was Operation Tonga, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. I actually didn't hate playing that. So, yeah, make of that what you want. <laughs> Next mission we'll do, I'm not entirely sure just yet. I've got to have some time to think about it. I can only do this game in bursts. It'll probably be Battle of Midway, because we get some flying in that. It's something different, isn't it? But, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Operation Tonga, I didn't hate doing it for once. So, but I've mentioned that previously. But, yeah, I'll see you for the next one, guys. Hope you're still enjoying the 20 Years of COD series. See you next time.